Hey guys, and welcome to this week's workout. As you can see, I am not in my usual place in my uh, living room in Victoria. I am right now in Hawaii, so welcome to my temporary new living room slash workout area. So today is going to be the patron's choice uh, workout for January and this month the requests were for a longer workout that included cardio, strength, focusing on core, legs, and booty, and there was also a request for Tabata, so we're going to end with a Tabata finisher. Um, so for this workout, you'll need uh, a chair, you'll need a set of dumbbells, I'm going to be using 15s, and also a heavier weight such as a heavier dumbbell or a kettlebell, I'll be using a 35 pound kettlebell. So, oh, and you'll also need a pillow. Um, if you actually have one of those yoga ball things, the Swiss ball, you can grab that, but if you don't have that, then um, grab a pillow. I'll be using pillow because I don't have a ball here. So yeah, we're gonna do a four minute warm up. We're gonna do um, the cardio section first, then the strength section, and then the Tabata finisher. So get some water, get a towel, and let's do this. All right guys, let's get started with the warm up. It's gonna just be our usual warm up, starting with jumping jacks. Maybe I'll put the timer over here so I can see it. All right, let's go. Nice easy jacks, just getting the heart rate up, getting everything ready. I wonder if the um, camera is picking up the sound of the rain because it's been raining here like non-stop for the last four days. It's been kind of shitty. You know, why problems? It's kind of funny because like I live in the one of the most rainy areas in Canada, on an island, and then where do I go? I go to like the rainiest part of Hawaii, right? I don't know why. All right, almost there. Good, now pick up your weight. We're gonna warm up the hips. We're gonna do a squat and a pivot. So squat, and now pivot to the side, lifting that weight up. And just make sure you're just rotating, just pivoting with that one foot. Keep the chest up. And I'm not sure what day it is today. I'll check in a second. But I've been in Hawaii for almost three weeks now. And this is my first hit workout. I have been doing pretty much zero cardio. So I'm pretty sure that this workout is gonna kick my butt. Okay, next up, let's warm up the core and the booty with some bird dogs. All right, get on all fours, brace the core, lift one arm and the opposite leg, squeeze the glute, keep the core stable, neutral spine, alternating sides. Really squeeze that glue when you're lifting that leg and try to keep your hips stable, both pointing towards the ground. Don't rotate. We're almost there. Five seconds left. Good. Now from here, we're gonna do our glute bridges so you can lie down. Brace the core and lift. Push through your heels. Squeeze the glutes every time. Keep the core engaged. Squeeze all the way up, squeeze all the way down. Hinge at your hips. Get that blood flowing to the booty.
almost there. Keep going, guys. Really squeeze at the top, lower down with control. Good job. All right, so we've completed the warm up. We're going to move on to our cardio section now. All right, here we go. Cardio time. 50 seconds work, uh, 10 seconds rest, and we've got eight exercises. We're repeating twice. Let's go. Speed skaters is the first exercise. So you're just really going to hop side to side, tap that toe behind, keep your chest up, use your arms, leap as long and as high as you can. Just really get into those legs, get that heart rate up. So we're going to go for eight minutes and then I'm going to press stop on my camera because it likes to stop recording after about 12 minutes and I don't want to get cut off. So we're going to go for eight minutes, take a really quick break, then do the next eight minutes. Then we're going to move on to strength. Good. All right, so now we're gonna do two curtsy lunges and a squat jump, alternating sides. So one, two, squat jump. Repeat, one, two, and jump. Keep the chest up, curtsy behind, keep the hips forward. If you don't want to jump, you can always just do a regular squat. Ten seconds left. Dumbbell burpees. So grab your dumbbells. We're mixing in a little bit of strength here. Okay, so come down, push up, chop in. Now you're gonna do a curl and press. Now repeat. I'll turn to the front in a second here so you can see what I'm doing, but I can't put these dumbbells down on the ground, so you're gonna curl and press. All right? So, all right, let's keep going. Strong core, don't let your hips sag when you're jumping into that plank. Shoulders back, curl, press it up. Nice. All right, what do we got next? We got three switch lunges and one kick. So start with your right foot forward. One, two, three, kick. Bring the leg back. One, oops, two, three. Other side kick, strong core, chest up. One, two, three. Balance and kick. One, two, three. Brace the core. That will help with your balance. One, two, three. Ten seconds left. My legs are burning. Last one. Good. All right, one frog plank jump, two plank jacks with shoulder tap. So come into a plank, pop it wide. Now, one, two, repeat that. Frog plank jump, plank, now. Shoulder tap and plank jack at the same time. Let's speed it up.
20 seconds. Really working that core and that cardio in this one. Two seconds left. Good. Whew. All right. Oh. So out of breath. Five low jacks, one heel click. So start wide. One, two, three, four, five. Heel click. Let's do it again. One, get low. Two, three, four, five. Heel click. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ten seconds left. Good job. All right, grab your dumbbells again. Doing four rows and a half burpee. So bend over, bring the elbows back. You feel like you're squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades. Four, now come back, plank, and stand up again, again. One, two, three, four. Plank, stand up. One, two, three, four. Plank, stand up. One, two, three, four. Almost there, guys. This is the last rep. Good. All right. Grab your pillow. We're doing the ball pass. All right. So start with the pillow or the ball above your head. Now you're gonna pass it forward, catch it with your feet, and just keep passing it back and forth, really engaging that core. But you don't need to go fast for this. Just go slowly, concentrate on the movement. If you're just going fast and I'm just like flailing your body around back and forth. That's not going to produce the desired result. We're almost there, guys. You're going to take a quick break after this and do these exercises just one more time. Good. All right, quick water break. And round two coming at ya. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely wiped from the cardio. Hopefully the second section will be easier for me because I'm more used to doing strength stuff. Okay, grab some water. I just feel really gross and sticky and humid right now because it's not really that hot. Okay, I'm gonna press start now. It's not really that hot, but it's really just, everything's damp. I'm like, my pajamas. The other day, I washed my pajamas. I hung them up, because you can't, they're like special pants that you can't put that material in the dryer. And it's like two days ago, they're still kind of wet. I just like hung them up over my chair. And now they stink. So I feel like I better just like, put them in the dryer on low, otherwise they're gonna go moldy or weird or something. Apparently that's the thing here, stuff goes moldy. When we lived in Kona, that was not a problem. When we lived in Kona, I'd have to put the air conditioning on to do these workouts. You guys remember that space? Remember how beautiful it was, how it, like everything in there matched? It was like all turquoise and purple. See this outfit? It would have gone perfectly in that that setup. Okay, two times curtsy lunge, 
one squat jump. Get ready. All right, curtsy lunge. Other side. And squat jump. Keep the back flat, chest lifted. How are you guys doing? You with me? You liking the cardio? I feel like my body needs cardio right now. I'm just like getting super strong with my weightlifting, but my cardio not up to snuff. But I feel like it's okay. I feel like it's okay to go through different periods and fitness phases where you really focus on one aspect of your fitness um, and kind of like let the other aspects take the back seat for a while. Okay, dumbbell burpees. Down, push up, come up, remember, curl, and now overhead press. Push up. Just so you can see what I'm doing, I'm gonna turn to the front, curl, open, press. Curl it down. Good. And you know what? I feel like I used to be so obsessed with having like really, really good cardiovascular abilities, but it's like, why? As long as you're not out of breath from going up the stairs and you're like, you know, your cardio is decent, you don't need to be able to run a marathon. It's like, whatever, let's not be extreme. Okay, uh, three switch lunges, one kick. But I guess you could say the same thing about strength training. It's like, why do you really need to be able to lift 200 pounds? Whatever. Just do what's fun for you. But don't think too much about it. One, two, three. Brace the core and kick. Keep the chest up. One, two, three. Kick. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. All right. Frog plank jump, and then plank jack with shoulder tap. Come down into a plank. Frog plank jump. One, two. Brace that core, don't let your hips sag. Dumbbells. 
rows into the half burpee. Bend over, flat back, bring your elbows straight back. Two, three, four, five, plank, and hop back, stand up, flat back, pull the core in. One, two, three, four, five, all right, we're only doing four. <laughs> Let's just do four, right? One, two, three, four. Come on, guys, 10 seconds left. One, two, three, four. Good. All right, last exercise here. Grab the pillow or the ball. We're doing the ball pass. All right. Grab the pillow overhead, lift the legs, lower with control. Like I said, don't just flop back and forth. It's not about speed, it's about control, engaging your core properly. Sometimes I like to throw it to see if I can catch it with my legs. It works better with the ball though. Not really working so well with the pillow. Good. All right guys, cardio done. Now, we're moving on to strength. All right guys, get your heavier weight ready. We're starting with kettlebell swings, so you wanna use your heavier stuff, whatever you're using. Get your chair ready and your dumbbells. We're gonna be using it all. Okay, so pressing start. Let's get ready to go. Kettlebell swings, first up. So again, we're gonna do an eight minute section and we've got a kind of a full body uh, leg core uh, rep move after this eight minutes and then we're gonna repeat it again. So keep your shoulders back here, brace your core, you're hinging at your hips, push your hips forward, squeeze your glutes every time you bring that kettlebell up, show you from the side. Just over halfway done. Ten seconds left. Good job. Okay. I'm gonna grab your dumbbells. I'm going for around the world lunges on the right side. So lunge it forward, lunge to the side, and lunge it back. Forward, side, back. Keep your back flat on that side lunge. Fourteen seconds left. Last one. Nice. All right, you can put the weight down. Get over to your chair. We're gonna do a plank, glute raise. Bring that leg out to the side, 45 degrees. Lift and lower. Squeezing that glute every time. Keeping that core engaged. Don't let your hips or your midsection sag down. If you need a break, just come down to your knees for a moment. Get back into position. 
and keep going. Core and booty. This one is awesome for that. All right, 10 seconds left, come on, I know this is tough. Good job. All right, around the world lunge, other side. All right, so lunge to the front, side, and back. I'll show you from the front, I guess. Front, side, and back. I don't really feel like I have enough space here. Work with what you got. Flat back. Fourteen seconds left. Last rep, come on. Finish strong. Good. All right. Grab your mat. We're doing single leg glute bridge. Put your foot on the chair. Right leg first. Oh gosh. My chair is moving. Hang on, I'm just gonna pause the timer and move the chair. Hmm. I'm gonna move it right here for now. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Resuming. Hopefully you can still see me. All right, this is actually terrible. Everything's moving, this is really annoying. Sorry, guys. Hope your guys' single leg glute bridges are going better than these. Keep your core stable, push through that heel. Engage the glute all the way up, all the way down. Don't just let go. Good. What do we got next? All right. Dumbbell Ru Romanian deadlift. So, stand your feet about hip width apart and you're just gonna hinge forward at your hips like you're going to put something down. Keep your uh, legs straight, hinge at your hips. Back flat, every time you're going to feel a stretch in your hamstring and then on the way up, really contract your glutes like so hard. Shoulders back and down. Oh yeah, I'm feeling this in my butt. Even with this lighter weight, you know? I did this. A few, no, I did this last week with, I think, 125 pounds. This is 30 pounds. Obviously, I did a lot less reps. <laughs> okay, single leg glute bridge. Left leg. Let's go. Can you see me? Yeah, I think you can see me. Okay. So, brace that core, push those hips up. Feel it in your glutes. If you wanted to make this more challenging, you could even put like a weight all across your hips. But I'm not gonna do that because everything's just like sliding around right here and it's just not ideal so yeah but if you want to make it harder you can put a weight across your hips for the second round okay single leg squat I think this is the last exercise yes it is okay we're doing the right leg for this round so stand up straight if you want to use a weight you can do that and you're just going to sit down 
Stand up, squeeze the glute. Don't worry, we're gonna get that other side in the next round. 10 seconds. Nice. Okay. I'm literally dripping with sweat. I'm not gonna come close to the camera now. Ugh. All right, so now we've got a 10 rep exercise that we're gonna do. And it's terrible. You're gonna hate it. Just wait. You're all, you're all, you, you will either love it or hate it. Maybe a bit of both. Okay, so Denise made me do this with the TRX uh, before I left um, Canada. So we're gonna do it with a chair. So what you're doing is a Bulgarian. So we're doing five per leg, okay? So you're gonna put your chair, your foot on the chair. You're gonna move this back. Okay, one Bulgarian. Now you're gonna come down, bring the dumbbells down, lift the leg. Still, I don't have enough space here. Lift the leg, do a push up. Bring the leg back, flat back, stand up. Whoa, and give me another Bulgarian. Okay, so that, <laughs> that is what we're doing. So let me just see if we can adjust this a bit. So I'm gonna put the weights here. All right. Okay, so we're gonna go for five reps and then switch sides. Okay, so get ready, get into position. Chairs up, legs up, I mean. So, lunge. Now, weights come down, leg comes up, one push up. Leg comes back. That's number two, right here. Lunge, come up, come down, three, holy, I'm feeling that in my butt, four, last one on this side, oh my god. All right. That's terrible, right? Yeah. All right. Can you give me five more on the other side? Whew. All right. This time, right leg goes back. All right, let's lunge it, come back up. Now come back down and push up. You know, if you can't do a one-legged push-up, just put your feet, holy crap, both on the chair. Two. Water. We're gonna go through that one more time. 
All right, can you guys hear the rain? I feel like the rain is like drowning out my voice. It is torrential downpour outside right now. <sighs> I guess it's a good day for an indoor workout. Okay. Grab your heavy dumbbell or kettlebell. Here we go, kettlebell swings. Get ready. Let's go. Hinge at your hips. Push those hips forward, squeeze the glutes. Halfway there. Eight minutes of strength intervals, and then that nasty Bulgarian push up combo that we just did. Come on, squeeze the glutes. Five seconds left. Good. All right, drop the weight. Or maybe don't drop it, place it down gently. <laughs> okay. Around the world lunges. Let's do it. Front, side, flat back, and reverse. Front, side, reverse. Front, side, reverse. Front, side, reverse. How's it going? Booty burning yet? Quads burning yet? All right, good job. Oh God, plank glute raise. This one is so tough. All right, bring that leg out 45 degree angle. Lift and lower, squeezing the booty. Keeping the core engaged, don't let your hips sag. If you're like really crazy badass, you can do this with ankle weights. We actually have ankle weights here, but um, let me know if you want me to do the February Patron's Choice workout with some ankle weights. Five seconds. Good. If you guys have ankle weights, let me know in the comments. Around the world lunges. Left leg. All right, front, side, back, brace that core, seconds left. By the way, do you guys like this outfit? It's pretty stoked to find these pants here. When I left Hawaii the first time, I left a bunch of clothes and I left these pants because I didn't really have anything that matched them. But I have this cute little lemon bra that goes perfectly with it. It's nice, right? Okay. Single leg blue bridge. Right leg. Right leg goes on the chair. Push it up. Like I said, if you want an extra challenge, mother, screw this. I'm just moving it back against the wall. Sorry, guys. Hopefully, you can still see me.
like I said, you can add some weight across your hips if you want. Good job. All right. Dumbbell. Romanian deadlifts. Grab those weights. All right, shoulder width apart, or hip width apart, sorry. Keep your legs straight. Slight bend in your knees, but keep your legs straight. Flat back. And you want the dumbbells to travel up and down, close to your legs. Keeping your back flat, hinging at your hips, and squeezing the butt really hard on that way up. Yeah, so let me know in the comments what weights you're using for this workout. I always like to know what you guys are doing. And by the way, thank you to everyone who commented um, on the last video where I asked where everybody was from. And I got so many awesome comments telling me, all right, single leg, blue bridge, left leg, let's do it. Yeah, I got so many awesome comments like telling me where you guys live, where you're doing my workouts from, which is really awesome because I just like to imagine you guys everywhere doing my ridiculous workouts. Brace that core, push that, push those hips up. Make sure they're staying square with the ceiling. Don't twist your torso doing this exercise. Lower with control, don't just flop down. Nice work. Okay, guess what? This is the last exercise. Single leg squat with the left leg. Grab your weight if you want to use the weight for this. Back so you can see me a bit better. So left leg, sitting down. This chair is actually super high. It's actually really easy. Should have picked a lower chair for this exercise, but that's okay. The lower the chair, obviously, the uh, harder this exercise will be. push-up combo. Yay! Are you excited? I know, right? I'm so excited. How did you know? Okay, grab some water. You're like, yeah, yeah, Christine, quit stalling, right? Half the time when I take a water break, it's like, I don't really need a water break. I just... I'm just procrastinating. I'm just killing time, just catching my breath. All right, so let's do this. Right leg on the ground, left leg on the chair. Shoulders back and down. One lunge. Now bring the dumbbells down. One push up. One lunge. Bring the dumbbells down. Leg comes up, one push up, that's two. Ugh. That's three. That's four. Ah, 
as I fall over. And this is the last one on the right. And stand up. Nice work. Just gonna move this over a little bit. Okay, left leg. Right leg goes on the chair. Brace the core. One lunge. Dumbbells come down. One push up. Flat back when you get up. Two. Three. Oh my gosh. This is brutal. Two more, guys. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I'm like falling over. Okay. Four. Last one. All right. Five. Done. All right, so my, my form on those last ones was kind of crap, but it's only the second time I've ever done that exercise, so don't worry. Just keep practicing it, it'll get better. All right, get some water. Catch your breath. We've got one last thing. We've got our Tabata finisher. Okay guys, last four minutes. Tabata, we've got two moves. Move number one, you're gonna be in push-up position. You're gonna do a push-up, and then you're gonna, oh my God, the ground's all slippery. Um, but yeah, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a push-up, and then you're gonna hop your feet in, and then hop them out again. So you're doing a, a push-up, and then a plank hop. All right, um, let me just see. Maybe I'll do this on the mat so that I don't fall and die, or slip and die. Okay, and you guys see me there? Yeah, okay. So then that's move number one. Move number two is gonna be, now you're gonna be holding a weight, or no weight, I'm gonna be holding a weight so you're gonna be holding a weight, you're gonna squat, leg lift, squat, jump. All right, so it's gonna be leg lift, jump. Leg lift, jump. All right, y'all ready? Ready to finish this thing off? Okay, we're gonna start with, oh my God, I'm just so sweaty. Okay. Get into push up. Push up. Push up position. Ready? Two, one, zero. Push up, hop in, hop back. Push up, hop in, hop back. Keep going, guys. Pull that core and don't let your hips sag. Good. Now stand up. Grab your weight. Here we go. We're doing the right side. Leg lift and hop. Lift, hop. Last one. to the push-ups. Ready? Push up. Hop. Push up. Hop. Hop. 
good. Other side with the legs. Oh god, this is freaking brutal. Lift, hop, lift, hop. You guys wanted legs, core, cardio, and booty. That is what we're doing. Back to the push ups. you want I take requests every single month you can uh, sign up link is in the description and yeah I think that's all I have to say I'm wiped all right guys thanks for working out with me and I'll see you next week bye